that I've never known anyone who was converted by the creed, but I know many people whose faith has been, you know, just, you know, greatly strengthened, built up, deepened, uh, made more courageous. Yeah. Okay, so then I had a dear friend come up to me and say, I want to tell you that my parents took me to a very liberal Presbyterian church. And uh, I got dragged to church because of my parents just, you know, it's the thing you did. It was a very liberal Presbyterian church, no gospel in it. He said, uh, however, the, the Apostles' Creed was recited every Lord's Day in every mm. service. Yeah. And he said, I was converted by the Creed. Interesting. Says, as a 15 year old boy, he said, I started listening to what we were saying. And I realized at the end of every sentence, I really do believe that. At the yeah, end of the next yeah. sentence, I really do believe that. Yeah. I really do believe that. I believe it's true because it's real in scripture to be true. And, and so I'm saying, you know, the Lord actually used this as a means of communicating the gospel of Jesus Christ into a 15 year old boy who was in a liberal church where no one was preaching the gospel. And yeah. that has just chastened me. And, and encourage me in a strange way. Obviously, that's not the main way we believe people become Christian. Yeah. You know, yeah. but it, it is a powerful testimony. It reminds me, 10 yeah. years ago, I, would, I took my son, who was just about to go up to college. Uh, yeah. I was teaching in Cambridge for a week, my alma, my alma mater. So we, I took him over for a week's holiday in Cambridge, and I was teaching, and he was hanging out. And on the Friday evening, I did something I didn't do even as an under, I'd never yeah. done this even as an undergraduate. We went to Evensong at King's College yes, Chapel. Yes. And I sat next to a girl wearing a hijab. She was a young, young Muslim girl. And I'd say, uh, you'll appreciate the hijab. Thankfully, there was no sermon. <laughs> All we had was the Book of Common Prayer sung and recited. And I remember thinking when we're leaving that evening that whatever else has happened this evening, that young woman with the hijab, she heard the gospel because we recited the creed. We used the Book of Common Prayer. She, whether she believed it or not, I don't know. But she left that church with, and I, I almost hesitate to say this, but having heard more scripture read and probably more gospel proclaimed than in many evangelical churches. Oh, now, abso- not doing absolutely. Enough, we need to examine ourselves here, but that's what you've just said about that young 15 year old boy. So moving yeah. from that perspective. Yeah. And just to amplify and, and confirm what you were saying, I, I take people regularly to Westminster Abbey for Coral Evensong. Yeah. And I don't tell them anything about it other than the historical context before we go in. Yeah. And then yeah. afterwards, we have some phenomenal conversations among fellow believers. And one of the things I, I say yeah. is, you realize, because I time it every time. And so the, just a matter of weeks ago, we were at Coral Evensong at Westminster Abbey. And, and honestly, the sermon was an atrocity. But forget that for <laughs> a moment. Imagine. I fully yes. expected it would be. But yes, yes. But we came back, and and as we were talking the next morning, I said, "Do you realize there's 23 minutes of scripture reading? Yeah, 23 yeah. minutes of nothing yeah. but scripture being read. Do you realize yeah, that we amazing. spent another 14 minutes, you know, reciting truths of the Christian faith uh, in in terms of creeds and another, uh, you know, other other uh, of the acts, and you know that that's an astounding." indictment of evangelical Christianity. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we sometimes go to churches, churches that I've been associated with, and you read a few verses of Scripture on a Sunday, and that's it. You know, the Anglican Church, God bless her, you get through the Psalms. You know, if you go to every service, you're going to right. get through the Psalms. You, you, have, you have a tremendous You have a gospel reading, and sometimes it's yes. considerable. Yes, yes, yes. yeah. yeah. Uh, we need to be very careful before we criticize others that we are – you know, doing well in these areas ourselves first, I think. Yeah, like I say, the sermon was a disaster. And that's where you realize, you know, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's it, to use the category with which you began us, uh, you know, there are things necessary but not sufficient. Yeah. Uh, it's not yeah. sufficient to read the Scripture and have a horrible sermon. Uh, yeah. We need yeah. churches that read the Scripture, spend a lot of time reading the Scripture, recite the creeds, uh, confess the faith, uh, confess our sins, and uh, preach the gospel. Yeah, absolutely. 